Hello everybody, this is your host Pethro Butkin7 and we're gonna do something a little different this time. Well, it's not really different from things I haven't done before, but wait, it's not different from things I've done before. The point is, we're doing a not so puzzly hold this time around. Well, maybe. Anyway, it's Egg's Dungeon by Egg Egg. A hold full of nice, easy levels. Okay, they get harder. Lots harder. Well, I will be the judge of that, so... Well, let's get around to it. New game. Level 1 off Egg's Dungeon. It's easy. Over easy. Okay, alright, let's... Isn't it? Okay. Okay, you guys need to be a little more quiet. I don't know what you're talking about, because I didn't bother reading, but... Yeah. You'll have to do the talking on your own time. Welcome adventurer! This is Egg's Dungeon. Kill all the monsters and find the stairs to progress. I will do that. I think I've always done that, really. Anyway, so here's a room with a bunch of roaches. It's... Again, there's nothing really difficult here. It's just... Gotta be a little more aware of your surroundings, because... These roaches are very vicious. But actually, they're not really that vicious. They're... They have the street cred of a credit card. So this is an orb, not puzzle. Oh no, it might be an orb puzzle, actually. Alright, okay, there was a little trick to there, but the trick was that the trick wasn't really that much of a trick. Okay, so we changed styles. We're going with the foundations. You approach the first boss, a gorp. The Roach Queen. Ah, what a menacing name. It sounds like someone who's, uh, swallowing water a little too quickly. And is actually not in a good position to feel comfortable. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. So, this is the first boss. And as you can see, like all first bosses, well, it's the first boss. More importantly, this is not a very difficult thing. Like, I'm not really sure how this is meant to be considered a boss. Well, there's a brain. Is that the first boss? I already felt much more difficult to go through. Well, not really, but... Eh, we, we pretend for fun. Also, there's no checkpoint. This hold gets minus zero out of ten. Yeah, I know minus zero is the same as positive zero. I... It's tedium things. Level two of Egg's Dungeon. It's a it's a bit more difficult. D wait, did, did that say difficult? Did, did that say difficult? Hold on, I want to see if that said difficult. No, it says it's a bit more difficult. Difficult. Okay. Well, I'll see if it's difficult. So this is the second level. It's gonna be a lot harder than the one you just did. As again, I have said, I will be the one to judge that. Well, you certainly have more monsters. I don't think that consists of things being that much harder, though. Yeah, there's the false belief in several circles that more means harder. And it doesn't. It's a bit of a delusion kind of ordeal like to believe this sort of thing. Like, I might actually die in this room, but I don't think dying once or not is necessarily a hallmark of difficulty. I mean, I guess it used to be in uh, the olden Architects Edition days, but yeah, now, I guess maybe it's easier now. That, that, maybe that's it, like, but then again, it's, I don't think you could, you could consider that easier or harder. It's just less tedious. So there's not really much of a difficulty here. It's really just, is it tedious? It's, so it's not a lot harder. It's just a lot tedious-er. So, yeah, this isn't a very good wavelength to measure difficulty with. Okay, so those orb puzzles, I guess these will lead to different rooms. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Therefore, let us figure out how to get through. Okay, so I have to hit this orb. You have to open this door and this door. So, toggle, 
Oh, wait, what? Okay. Okay, this is a little silly. Uh, wait. What about this one orb that is here? Closes that one. What even closes this one? Nothing closes that. Why would you have that? <laughs> Okay, well, I guess it opens that. Oh, there we go. Alright. So I can go in both directions now. So there's gonna be some roach queens. So I'll have to orb puzzle it out. It's only three orbs, so I don't feel like it'll be the worst thing. So, that's two deaths, by the way, for anyone who even gives a dang. So, toggle. Oh, toggle! Yeah. What a tricky thing. So, um... Yeah, I may have to mess around with the toggles a little bit. I should have this done soon enough. Okay, so which one closes one of these? We're talk. No, no, I want the closing one? Wait, hold on. Oh. You just need to get to that one, okay. My bad. I'm silly. Okay, there we go. I can get there now. I will admit this is a little menacing, but not much more than a little. Yeah, you want this to be harder, you... I don't know. Not necessarily put more Roach Queens, I don't know if that would necessarily make things that much easier, harder. But on the plus side, we were given an orb to not have to do any more puzzle shenaniganry. Now we have to do this again now, so that's a little lame. I guess I do kind of know how to do this now, so... Alright. Um... What's the thing again? Like, I toggle a bunch of orbs? Oh, there we go, okay. You can stop being a highlight of my life, because you're not. Well, actually, if you're not, then... Yeah, okay, whatever. Point is, let's go to the east. Okay, so that's a pretty simple trapdoor puzzle. Uh, and, I get, and I get immediately stuck. Wow, good job. What an easy trapdoor puzzle on which I get stuck. Okay, let's try to be a little less stupid. That shouldn't be that much harder. Look, yeah, we have a straight path to home, so... Yeah, we just... I just got a little fooled there. Don't worry, I'm still good at video games. It's alright. An expert is amongst you. I think. Tar. Because I have to cut... Oh, interesting. What, did all of the tar blobs have stuff under them? Or trapdoors? Yep. Okay. Well, there's not really much information that I need to have constantly on the screen, so I'm just gonna cut some tar, if that's alright with you. I don't think anyone's gonna complain about me cutting tar, aside from in-game characters, which don't exist because this is Architect's Edition. Also, I just feel- yeah, I think I need it to grow a bit. Yeah, the reason I needed to grow is because there was a 4x4 blob, and in that case, I would have never been able to uncover all of the trapdoors. So now I guess I'll just leave this on to make things easier for me. So yeah, this is a bunch of tar cutting, and honestly, it's not the most exciting tar cutting I've ever seen, if I may be truthful and honest with you here. Yeah, I I do like my tar cutting, but this is just a little bit on the dull side. There's not much really going on here anyway. So, yeah. 
I like my tar cutting to have a little more excitement to it. Like, I guess not a lot of people were very fond of the Bavato's dungeon ones. Like, tar rooms in Bavato's dungeon. Me, personally, I found them fun enough. Like, I don't know if I'd say that's like the wavelength that I base things on. Or tar rooms. Especially not in the modern age. But, nonetheless, I'd say they were fun. They, they were entertaining, they were a nice little pastime kind of thing. I didn't hate them. Well, maybe I did hate them at some points, but... Overall, I'd say it was generally enjoyable. At least in a cathartic kind of way. So, yeah, I guess it was a little... This was a little longer. And I wouldn't know about harder, though. Hard. Level 3 of X Dungeon. It's hard, if you hadn't guessed. I also apologize for the 41 runes. 41 runes? Really? Stone brain! Duh! Okay. There was a scroll over here, wasn't there? I feel like there was a scroll. Also, what, what is the point of the green door? It doesn't serve any aesthetic purpose, it's just gone. This is a little pointless, you know? Twin snake. <laughs> you will burn like a torch. Okay. What's that all about? Do we have like multiple bosses to fight? Oh, goblin. This is just gonna be easy. And north we go. Okay, so that's uh, a little interesting, I guess. Alright, so I'm just gonna take all of these out because I'm heading down that way anyway, so. One path left is a thing that I do not hate. I could have made it rhyme, but eh, I I'm too lazy to rhyme. Call back to me on another day. Now, I'm not saying have like a flashback, I'm just saying ask me again tomorrow or whatever. In any case, some roach killing. It's some nice fluid roach killing action. You, you can never go wrong with some roach killing. I mean, unless you're in real life, like... I mean, yeah, roaches are pests, but don't be jerks, you know? Okay, so those are the twin snakes, I would presume. Alright, I will destroy you. Okay, well, you've destroyed my plans, good. Yeah, so they, they can be toddled, okay. Oh. oh. Now go back and choose another path. Really? That's... That's it? And then there's all of this... Yeah, I guess it's a good thing he apologized, because this is a, just a bunch of filler. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really much of a fan of all that. There's a stone brain, which makes no sense because there's no rock columns at this point. Epoda. All that air. It's such a shame you won't be around and enjoy it for much longer. I guess it's gonna be a Wraithwing boss thing. Oh, more goblins. Yo, just watch me now. I locked the room, and that's your fate. That was a terrible, dumb thing. Okay, another trapdoor puzzle. This one, yeah, it feels like it was a lot easier than the last one. But it had the potential of trapping me, but not by much. Okay, oh, there's a... What's that all about? The Poda awaits your swift demise. Sure, they do. Oh, hi, Apoda. Goodbye, Apoda. <laughs> that was. That, that was just the most pathetic boss battle of all time. Like, the first boss was hard in the. Harder than this. Come on. 
Step up your game, egg, egg, McEgg, egg, egg. Okay, I guess the way the orbs were set up up there was to prevent... Oh, I'm just gonna hit all of the orbs from left to right, or from right to left. Well, no, the player would have seen one orb working, and that lock system would not have worked out. Okay, stone brain, duh. He's a dumb brain. That he thinks I'm dumb. Which is dumb, because I'm smarter than him. See, I didn't even die here. I could have easily died here, but I didn't. Because that's an orb puzzle. Of course it is. You ain't the eight gates of Bill, my friend. Okay. Right, so now I'm gonna refer to some tricks that I remember for solving orb puzzles. So, okay, this is absolutely pointless. No point in hitting that. I want to look for the one that only toggles. That's this one. That'll be hit last, I guess. Uh... So I guess I'll just kind of mess around with these until I get all of the gates down. Then I'll hit the uh, the middle orb. And that'll do something. Oh wait, was it this one? No, it wasn't. Okay. I guess I'll just mess around. And... Okay, so... Trying to find a way to close all of them. I could toggle these. Okay. Yeah, I want as many gates closed as I possibly can. Okay, that's, yeah, that's the toggle everything in one, okay. Oh no, there is a purpose to those, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm stupid, never mind me. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's all of them closed, and boom. See, I'm not that bad at door puzzles. <laughs> okay, so that's a uh, trapdoor horde room. You no, know, that's funny. I don't think I've ever seen a trapdoor horde room like this before. Which is interesting because you'd think there'd be a lot more of these in these, uh... Holds of, uh... A certain quality. <laughs> Not to be rude. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised I haven't seen that many of these sorts of rooms. I don't know, I feel like they would have been more prevalent, but... No... I've seen more legitimate trapdoor puzzles, however easy they may be. Hmm. Interesting. Or maybe not, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just gonna drop some trapdoors. My mouth is getting a little annoying at me, so... Yeah. It tends to be. So... All right, stone brain. Oh, this is actually kind of tricky looking. Well, partially tricky looking. This isn't the trickiest looking thing. I mean, which is gonna get stuck in there? That's that. And the goblins. Don't even get me started on those goblins. I died once, so good job on you, I guess. Alright, so I think that's everything. I think. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about the throat clearing here, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I think the level exit will crop up once I get here. Or not. Oh, there is a room to the south, okay. Yikes, okay, this is just gonna be crazy. Okay. Yeah, these rooms are just stupid. No point at all to them. So, what's the next boss? The Goblin King? Rodney the Blob. I hope you can swim. <laughs> That's what I feel like a Rodney would sound like. I feel like I'm being mean. Sorry to all Rodneys out there. It's not your fault that a Blob decided to come up. Okay, so this is literally the most pointless room. Well, no, not literally the most pointless room, but it is probably one of the most straightforward that I've seen in quite some time. 
Well, now there, there have been a few more rooms in this level alone that were maybe slightly more straightforward. But yeah, this is not very brain fooling. Oh, Roach! And there's a queen. Good job. <laughs> well, hey, Rodney. I'm gonna stab you in your millions of eyes now. Is that okay? No? Too bad. You shouldn't have been a blob. Because everyone knows blobs just get their eyes all stabbed out. <clears throat> this is how it is, man. I'm sorry you have to live in such a cruelty-filled world, but... You should have kind of had an idea of what was coming to you for being a blob, you know? I, mean, I don't I don't personally approve of these sorts of mentalities, but one has to admit your being a blob here is uh And then again, you were kind of a jerk, so I don't know how bad I feel about stabbing out all your eyes. I mean yeah, it might be unnecessarily cruel, but I don't know. You did say I hope you can swim. Which actually might not even be a mean thing. Like, maybe he's just saying, I hope you can swim because I'm taking you out on a trip to the pool. Ow, why are you stabbing all of my eyes? <laughs> you know, maybe Rodney was a good guy and I'm just being a big jerk. I mean, you don't know these things. Like, there's so little story. There's so little stories in Architect's Edition holds that you don't know. Maybe he did want to take you out to the pool. But now you're just stabbing out his eyes, I me. Mean, jeez, what's wrong with me? Why am I so freaking psychopathic? This is... This is cruel. And I'm still doing it even though I'm saying that it's wrong for me to do that. <laughs> Game morality, man. There is absolutely none of it. Okay, so now that's that. Go back and choose another path. I choose the path of leaving this place. So I can contemplate how horrible of a person that I am. So. Let's get out of here. Yep. I had a feeling that it wouldn't crop up until I explored every single backtrack room. So of course that's how that is. So that was the hard level. And by hard, once again, we meant Teddy. Uh, te tedious, not tedious. There, there were no teddy, teddy bears here. Oh, this is the first level he made. It's level 4 of X Dungeon. Alright, well, I'll give it a try then. Um. Oh. Are you sure it was the best? I don't know. I mean, we're back to stabbing out Rodney's eyes. Let's see, I don't know. This is making me feel bad again. Well, not really. If I felt bad, I'd tell you. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I think for the sake of everyone's sanity, I will just take the. Uh... Oh wait, do I even need to take the mimic potion? Ooh. Actually, this looks pretty cool. Actually, you know what? I'll just wait them out. Boom. Hey, I was supposed to do that. <laughs> well, I guess it's one of those things where I have to stab out a bunch of brains. Okay. Well, I don't mind doing that at all. Dude, get back here. Thank you. Okay, so I get the f this impression that I might get myself stuck if I don't stop being stupid. Okay, now I made it. Yeah, this actually feels like it was a tricky puzzle room. Okay, looks like we cleared it. Okay. Snakes. Yeah, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. No, this is already my favorite level by a distance. Come on. I know you want it. Boom. Alright. I actually can literally just stand here and kill all roaches. 
Yeah, I know I said for everyone's sanity I was gonna take the Mimic Potions, but I actually thought right after that, you know, maybe I could actually just control and queue my way through everything, so... You know what? That's what I decided to do. Yeah, it would have probably taken a lot more time to actually use the Mimics, but... Eh. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's the thing. It probably would have taken me more time to use the Mimics. But it probably would have been a little more interesting than just Control and Q. Yeah, I'm making this boring on, to my, on myself, so the boredom's on me. Sorry, folks, I'm just too much of a bore. Okay, Goblins. I guess I'll head to the west. Uh, no. The east. Welcome back. Stupid typo things. Okay, can I get to that? Yep, I can. Okay. Time for another edition of Beat the Robotkin. Just wastes everyone's time for a scroll that is absolutely not worth it. No, it's that way. So, uh, nice weather we're having, huh? It's all purple. Okay. I'm surprised you are so unobservant. Uh, I am observant. You just did that on purpose to insult me with lies. It's not even a true insult. I mean, look, if you're gonna insult someone, at least insult something that is actually true. We are guarding our ruler. Unlock the invisible. Okay. Good luck with that. Okay, that guy actually did a pretty good job, but... I have time-traveling powers, so... You're done. Oh. Let's try Ernok. Or should I say Ernok? If you can read this, either you've beaten the level or are dead. Probably. Well, you know, maybe I could be both because, again, time-traveling powers. Final encounter. Level egg of Fire's Dungeon. <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew I said it wrong, I just went with it. It's the final boss. This is not good final boss music. Oh, Goblin. What is that, Twin Snake, the Snake mix Snake Twin Snake? Okay, so where can I shove in the Goblin? Where? Hold on, that's all right. Oh, yep, yeah, no, never mind, I see it. Could be a jerk. Just stay put, you big dummy. Maybe we should just kill those stupid brains. I mean, I got time to kill before the snake gets here, so I might as well. Stupid northwest loving jerk. You know, they made a deal with a triangle devil, right? <laughs> can't trust the northwest direction. It's just the worst, most snooty direction of all. Anyway. That was it. That's, that's X Dungeon. I think. So, you conquered X Dungeon. You have beat my dungeon! Dot, 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 No! Hello, Darth Vader. Well done, though. Some of those levels were pretty tough. Though I do say, do I do say it myself? Feel free to edit it if you want. I'm good. So this was the very difficult X dungeon. What did I think? Well, <clears throat> it was not lots harder. Not at all. That said, <clears throat> jeez, I have to deal with this math of mine. But yeah, no, this was actually really good, really enjoyable. Well, it was fun. Like, it was, it was a campy kind of fun. Like, it was silly and it had pretensions of being harder than it really was, which actually kind of made it a little enjoyable. 
Well, yeah, I feel like I'd be justified in giving this a 6. It's nothing particularly life-changing, but at the same time, I don't think I would go back in time to stop myself from playing this. Unlike one hole I can think of. Feel free to guess which hole that is. I don't think that'll be very difficult. But yeah, this is the hole that is X Dungeon. And this has been the B3 Butkin 7 that played it. I'll see you in the next part where I probably will play more breakfast holes. Or maybe I will just uh, take a lunch break. Until then, have a nice one.